After walking through the damn woods about a mile-ish, looking for mushrooms and not finding shit, we did find something other than mushrooms. That right there is the big scary Missouri River. We got two jetties, a little current break, and then we also got boo and then another current break down the way. So uh, yeah, since we failed at mushrooms, we figured what the hell, might as well try some greasy old river fishing. See if we can't catch anything. The river always kicks our ass, but hopefully today's the day. Pup out. What do you mean? You got your, you caught one fish, <laughs> two fish. Nothing. Yeah, we, we, we ended up catching some stuff last time we were at the river, but nothing too crazy. But anyway, what is going on, dirty old stash bags? We are at the mighty Missouri River and all we have today is night crawlers. I didn't bring a shad because I wasn't really planning on doing this. Like I said, we we're searching for the mythical, magical, not psychedelic morel mushrooms and uh, we failed. I've only found one in my whole life and it was dried up and terrible. She's found some before because she's a country girl, but we've tried a few times this year and failed miserably, but enough about that. Got some bottom rigs. I might throw a blade bait because uh, I've done well in the river with blade baits before. And uh, yeah, we don't really care what we catch. We just hope we catch something. Got a few hours and uh, yeah, Let's see what we can catch. Stuff and things, pow pow. All righty. Leave the catfish pole here. If we catch like a drum fish or something, we'll use that. But for now, we need to figure out how the hell to get down here. Or how the hell Boo got down here. She's already down here. But uh, yeah, current break. I'm going to go to the tip of that jetty and throw in. Thought Boo was going to do that, but she apparently stopped halfway. <laughs> That's all right, honey. You you fish here. This looks like a nice spot for you. Where you got it? Clear out there in Narnia? Is it holding? Looks like it's holding. See any mushrooms? I found some seashells. Look, Boo. Fossils. Fossils. Foss holes. <clears throat> I'll try not to fall. No promises though. No promises. There's a lawnmower, boo. We don't have a lawnmower for the house yet. Shit ya! Yeah. No shroomies, no fish yet, but we got a lawnmower. Someone was eating some ramen noodles down here. Is there any extra? No, weird spoon though. Ah, the river's fun. You just never know what you're gonna see. Shotgun shell, that's kind of expected. The lawnmower, not so much, but. Shotgun shell? Yes. What is that, a deep freeze? We're gonna fill our house out here. Look at those two jetties meeting out over there. That looks crazy. I don't even know. Is this still the Missouri River? I have no idea. It almost seems like the plaque coming off it, but it's it's not, I don't think anyway. Alrighty, crawler bud. You go out there and you do some good stuff, okay? Hi, boo. Definitely is not shallow. That's very deep. Very, very deep. We also got that little cut in over there, but we figured we'd start up here and work down that way, but that looks pretty good as well. So we'll just kind of have to play by ear and see, but don't want to waste too much time in one spot. So, I mean, if it ain't happening, we moving. We is moving. Alrighty, well, got that out. Boo came and joined me over here. I'm gonna throw a blade bait. See what crap happens. There's a gar right there. Yeah, there was just a gar at the surface right here. I might have to just throw out like a bobber or something though. I mean, if there's gar just sitting here right next to shore, might not have to throw it too far out. Sign of life, definitely a sign of life. Now we just need to catch something. Blade bait tangled up though, so that ain't gonna catch nothing. Maybe I caught a stick? Ooh, I caught a stick. I know, right? Kind of nifty. What is that, a birch? Any hoodles. Keep her going. Hopefully we can figure something out. But there's at least Gar here, so that's something. Got some. I def I think it ate it too. It didn't seem snagged. I'm guess I'm guessing drumfish. <laughs> These rocks kind of out of the current over here. Figured it worth worth the shot. Also have a square bill. I was gonna try that eventually, but it ain't small. Giant walleye. Calling it now. Maybe I didn't like that. Thought it came off. I'm grinding in the rocks. I really need this fish. The river last time was so rough. The mushroom hunting was rough. I think it is a walleye. And I think it's huge. 
No, it's a giant drum fish. <laughs> it, it kind of, I know we, we both kind of did, but I'll take it though. He's a big one. Old river size. That was fun. You're getting hit too? Get his ass, boo. Double. <laughs> what was it? It looked decent. Yeah, you should keep throwing it right in front of you. I gotta try to walk Bud here to the beach. Yeah, this is definitely a better spot on the river than when we fished last time. This water is like clear and that's intense. What'd you uh, get? Drum Bud. <laughs> Big river sized drum Bud too. Nice. Didn't take too long. We've been here about five or 10 minutes. We've been dicking around for most of it, but about 10 casts in on a blade bait. Yeah. Old drum bud just as easily could have been a big walleye. This this area looks cool. Water is not super clear, but it's a hell of a lot clearer than most spots on the Missouri. And uh, yeah, we got current breaks, we got rocks, and we got a jetty we can walk out on too. So feeling good. As I said, the mushroom hunting sucked, but I think the fishing is going to go pretty well. And we almost doubled up. So back drum bud goes. I kind of want some cut bait, but that's a lot. That's a lot of cut bait. <laughs> Oh, come on, drum bud. It is. Don't make me get in there after you. I didn't even like drop him or anything. He didn't swallow it. He should be good. I just am going to have to revive him or something. My ass crack's also falling out, so that's part of it. <clears throat> Are you worn out, man? You were pulling some line. There he goes. There he goes. So just sitting right off the edge of those rocks over there. Right where he should be. Drumfish! Pow. Alrighty. We're back. You need a lighter to open that, don't you? Yeah. And we got beers. And we got shads. And we got more poles. More catfish poles. And the spot looks just as good. Last time it sucked. You caught like two gar or something, right? And I caught the drum fish, but uh, yeah, nothing else really happened. It's an incredible looking spot. You can't really see it, but there's two jetties over there. That looks pretty good. We got some swirls and some whirlpools and stuff like that. And we don't know much about the uh, big old scary Missouri River, but we do know that uh, this is definitely one of the cooler spots we've ever seen. And uh, hypothetically, there should be fish here. There's a gar. Should be some blues or channels or flatheads. Those are the three main goals or basically anything but tiny gar, to be honest with you. All right, I'm gonna uh, get one of these going. We got... Uh, four ounces to five ounces of weight on honestly don't think it's super necessary in most of the spots because uh yeah i can set them up on the jetty and kind of have the current work with me but yeah i just put them on just so i felt like i was a real river fisherman or something like that are we river fishermen boo yep. well you're not a man but you know what i mean i'm not a man high five nope okay see you later Ooh. oh well sorry sorry is this poisonous <laughs> <laughs> hope not all right i don't really know what i'm doing at the river so i'm just gonna kind of chuck it out in this little pool and hopefully it finds somewhere to sit that's not a snag and then we're gonna walk a couple down on the rocks but four ounces of weight shad guts big piece of shad giant deep pool and yeah still falling there it goes see if it holds is not holding but i guess eventually it'll probably find somewhere to sit huh probably in a tree all right, hello deep freeze bud. Hello mower bud. How are you guys this evening? We missed you, not really. Not sure how you got here. Wish you weren't here, but I guess you aren't hurting nothing. People are just slobs. All right. Keep one kind of close to these rocks. Appears to be holding. Nice. Anyway, Missouri River is an intriguing place. Pretty badass spot. At some point, there has to be giant fish here. I just don't know if it's going to be today. But that was a silver that just jumped in the current and something's eating this. Didn't seem big though, but that felt big. Did you guys see that damn thump? You might be in for a treat on this one. That thing just thumped it. Did you guys see my whole damn rod shake? And there was about a 20 pound silver carp that just splashed right there. Might have to go after them and try to get some fresher bait, even though these shad aren't that old. Whatever that was definitely thumped the bejesus out of it and then dropped it. The thump the bejesus out of it part's pretty cool, but the dropped it part isn't. All right, no more niblets on the catfish poles. Nothing has been caught, not even on night crawlers. 
which is surprising. Hopefully there's a drum bud sitting here again. Blade bait on, chuck it around, see what happens. I'll even be happy if I run into something, to be honest with you. There's fish splashing everywhere and we just can't figure out how to catch them and it's frustrating, so. Missouri River ain't easy. It ain't easy. Oh, you got a gar! That was kind of a big one. Nice! I don't know if that was a long nose, but if it was a short nose, it was bigger than average. All right, Boo's getting gar bites. That was actually like a, I don't know, not a huge one, but 30 inch or something. Was there stuff other than gar? Got something. <gasps> that was a walleye. Really? Yes, that was a walleye. Holy shit, that thing slammed it. Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, that thing slammed it and it was definitely a walleye and it was big. And it came off and I'm sad. Piss balls. Piss on my balls. Thing hammered it too. Well, hopefully there's another. Let's try over on this side. See if we can't get something on these side of the rocks. Or this side of the rocks. Definitely a gar swimming. Dang it. Never caught a walleye out of the Missouri River. I would have been so stoked. That would have made the both trips that we've been here if I would have caught that. Looked like a 20, 22 inch or something. Piss. Piss, piss, piss. Well, the blade bait's staying on for a while now, I guess. That was a big gar. <gasps> oh, damn it! It was a long nose gar. I've never caught one. It slammed the shit out of it. Right at my feet, just hammered it. Piss. Why do I keep missing so many things? <laughs> yeah, there's big fish all around us. We sure as shit aren't catching them, but I suppose it's cool to watch them too. Yeah, I kind of did look like a dr I got something. I don't know, but it hammered it. Yeah, there's gar everywhere. I don't think this is a gar though. It's a drum fish, but I don't give a shit. I'm just happy. <laughs> oh. I don't think this one's coming off because I'm pretty sure it swallowed the blade bait. No. Missouri River size. I wish the walleye would have got it like this. Come here, bud. Pretty sure it has it swallowed anyway. Am I recording? I am recording. No, it doesn't have it swallowed, but he's got it good. Uh, that might be bigger than the last one. Yeah, I mean, it's comparable. Front hook gobbled. Alrighty, well, spot's been kicking our ass, boo, but things are looking up. I never would have thought to fish the front side of a jetty with a current like this, but maybe it's the play, I don't know. Drum bud. <laughs> Even though we kind of need fresh drum, uh, drum bait, fresh cut bait, I can't do it on the first fish of the day. If I catch another drum, hopefully it's a little smaller than that and I'm killing his ass. Our shad's fine, but it gets, I mean, even if it's only been frozen for a month, it just gets washed out, washed out quick like so. On the damn board, finally. Who had a gar on shore? I had a uh, walleye right by shore that came off, which I'm very sad about. Hooked the long nose, caught the drum bud. Maybe they're on this side today, I don't know. I don't know, but. That drum means the damn world to me. I can tell you that for sure. So keep it going. Maybe get blue, blue a blade bait and hopefully one of the shads get eight. Gonna have to freshen them up though, but not yet. That's a bite. I think it still has it. Yep. Yep. Big. <laughs> Big. Big. Oh, it's a f***ing, it's a paddlefish, boo! I swear to God, it's a paddlefish. It's a paddlefish. Boo! No! It broke off! How did it break off? 
Broke 65 pound braid. It was a paddlefish that swam into the line. What? Just got dark. And then this one just started screaming. Okay, it just came off. I thought for sure it broke off. I've never seen a paddlefish either. I can't seem to get either the long nose or the paddlefish in the song, bitch. It was like a 20 pound paddlefish. Just swam into the line. It didn't eat it. They're filter feeders, but I still would have liked to touch the song, bitch. What? There was something that jumped. That was it. My pole was over here, but by the time I hooked it, it was... What the fudge? Um, okay. I don't even know what to say. Um, I mean, we're gonna chill here for a little bit and see if we can't catch something, but... Shad is not getting bit anymore. It's getting ran into by paddlefish, but it's not getting bit. Uh, the lure bite is non-existent, and, um, we've pretty much mentally given up, but... We're thinking about maybe coming to camp here or something, do some overnight stuff. So if this video, how many likes does it have to get for us to camp here? Shoot uh, high. 8,000. <laughs> That's too high, probably. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot for five. If this video gets 5,000 likes by some miracle, we'll come camp here. And even if it gets less than 5,000 likes, we'll probably come camp here anyway, we'll right? We'll do a catch and cook and we'll make a fire. Yes, fires and can catch and cooks and stuff. But anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Kind of sucked, but Missouri River's tough, and I'm pretty proud of my two drumfish. And I'm pretty excited that I even saw the paddlefish, and pretty excited I even hooked a long nose gar. It's getting windy. The audio's probably getting shitty, and uh, I'm going to let you go. But thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.